Hey, everybody. Welcome to another segment of 2022 In Review. This is a co-production with Tinnitus TV and uh, Sonic Reducers and that Eric Elper, who's that guy right over there. And hey, Daryl. Now, now we are talking about the people who died, people who died in 2022. Um, it was a big kind of, a, if there can be such a thing as a big year for, for celebrity death, it seems like there was a, a lot of big names this year. Um, who would you put it kind of the, the the most impactful or the one that, you know, maybe had the biggest uh, meaning to you? Oh, so many of them this year. Um, mm -hmm. Personally, um, <laughs> Bob McGrath um, earlier this month um, right. probably influenced me when it came to my love of music as a kid more than anybody else and somebody that I actually got to work with um, later on in his life. Um, during the re-releases of Sesame Street, and he was as nice and kind as you thought it would be. Um, Jim Stewart, who co-founded Stax Records, uh, right. a, a label that I adore still to this day. Um, it was the ST in Stax. Yeah, and like <laughs> a hillbilly banjo white musician, probably bringing more to soul music than than anybody else around. Um, Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac, um, Jerry Lee Lewis passing away, um, mm -hmm. which probably frustrated him more than anybody else on the planet, considering that, you know, he probably wanted to die and he thought that he should have been long, long gone. Um, that was a real big one. Olivia Newton-John was a shock too. Not so much her passing away, um, but the amount of love and attention that it got, especially yeah. on the internet, I mean, that's where everybody lives anyway. Um, but that's a, that was a real big moment where it seemed like, you know, look, you, you know, as well as I do when in the late sixties, when Jim Morrison passed away in Paris, it took three weeks for the news to get back to yeah. London. The fact that, worldwide all of this happens right in front of us um was amazing was just mind-boggling and then in may you had vangelis you had alan white from yes alan fletcher of depeche mode um mm. and ronnie hawkins all within a two-week period and right. that was pretty big but i think probably the biggest one um only because i didn't i wouldn't think it would be but not a surprise because dave Grohl was involved Mm. was Taylor Hawkins sure. of the Foo Fighters passing away um, at the end of March. Um, absolutely beloved, phenomenal drummer. But this turned into, obviously, with those two concerts, um, and just a nonstop tribute to him with so many other drummers and musicians. They tribute all year round with the songs and drumming and, and uh, T-shirts and merchandise. And it, it was it was a massive death for somebody that I, I absolutely no doubt believe that he deserves it i was just surprised at the sheer amount of yes well i mean everything you know, it got yeah. i mean you can think of and not to make it into a contest but there have been other arguably more famous people arguably bigger people uh you know who, who passed away in the past couple of years who didn't uh, have you know a couple of tribute concerts at wembley and 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 in yeah. l.a dedicated to them so yeah i mean the, the the outpouring of love and as you said dave Grohl being involved it was you know kind of a thing that i'm sure he started and that snowballed and again well deserved um some other names i would add to that list um wilco johnson for me was a big one yeah. uh from dr feelgood uh one of the greatest guitar players around i think you know an underrated but if you go and watch those videos the way he plays it's just weird it's like some old backwoods because he's just slamming at the guitar with his with his bare fingers you know um and just playing these amazing riffs uh ronnie specter was was yeah. last january too that was kind of uh you know she was she was obviously vital to a lot of things um and, and mark lanigan yeah absolutely in February. Blue, although again one of those things where i don't think a lot of people were necessarily perhaps too shocked but they were surprised or, or however that phrase works whichever way you want to turn that around um, and then uh, who else? Well, Loretta Lynn passed away. Yeah. This year too. That was to me, that was kind of, I, I, cause I was lucky enough to talk to her a couple of times and she was just the sweetest thing. So that was, um, and, and then I was in Nashville, like mm, maybe a week later. And so outside the rhyme and they still had like the, cause she's, there's a statue of her out, yeah. out, out back as you're, as you're coming in. And it was still just flowers everywhere and, and cards and, you know, People had built that little shrine and it was still there. So that yeah. was kind of cool. Um, and then take Judd. off. 
Huh? Naomi oh, yes. Judd too. Staying exactly, in the country yeah. well. Yeah, that 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 had a big reverberation, especially in Nashville, of course. Yeah, and and the shock of it too, you know, with her. Um, and then takeoff was was you know just recently too. So, and I mean, we're just touching the surface, really. There's another hundred people we could name. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, you and I, whenever we get called on by the media to talk about somebody passing away, it's always it's always the 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 end of the segment is always like we should kind of get used to this, you know, our, our heroes and heroes are getting older. Um, certainly, um, you know, we're more aware of it. I mean, somebody like Andy Fletcher through no slight to him or that band, um, the, the sheer popularity of the outreach and the reach of that band when Andy passed away it morbidly asks the question, well, what would happen when Dave Gahan passes away or mm -hmm. anybody like that? And because we're all so well aware of uh, of anybody really who has served in the music industry, it becomes worldwide news instantly. Um, and everybody gets 48 hours. You know, everybody seemingly gets a certain period of time and then everybody moves on. But in the case of Naomi Judd, um, Mark Lanigan, I'll put up there, um, Ronnie Hawkins, Olivia um, and and Loretta Lynn, you know, those were the greats. Like those were the ones that that people are still talking about, you know, and will forevermore. And, and one name we forgot, Dallas Good from the Sadies. Dallas Good from the Sadies, absolutely. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, that wraps up that list and that wraps up this segment. Thanks for watching.